Hey guys, GTA Freak 1 back with a tutorial on how to set Bandicam up for high running computers. Um, just to show you, I'm going to show you the specs of my computer. If I don't manage to screw this up, right click on my computer if you're running XP or computer if you're running Windows 7. Hit properties. Um, you should be able to see all your stats right there. I'm running a Intel Core i3 processor, 4 gigs of RAM, on a 64-bit operating system, and that's pretty much it. My rating is a 5.1. So after you're done finding out your specs, you want to open up Bandicam. I don't know why mine looks like that. Press yes if you haven't already. And Bandicam should appear here. If you're wanting to set up audio for your games, like Minecraft or any other game, you'd want to click on the Videos tab, hit Settings, and choose your primary sound device, which is where your speakers are, but I got it set as my microphone. And your secondary would be your microphone, but that's where I got my speakers are. If you're running Windows 7, you would have it Win 7 Sound. But for your microphone, I would not know because my laptop has a built-in microphone. So I got a microphone context smart audio HD. Um, now, for graphics, if you're running a high-end computer, you just leave them all alone. Don't change anything. Um, change your output folder. I'd make a folder on your desktop like I have called YouTube. I just hide that over there. And that would be where all of your videos go. Now, usually in every Steam game, F12 is take a screenshot. But I have mine as F12 because I make sure every time it takes a screenshot that my video's ended. Um, for a quick demonstration here, I'm going to show you what you'd see in Bandicam. Well, now you wouldn't see it, but at the top, um, top left of the screen you should see green numbers. That would be your FPS um, or something else. As soon as you hit F12 or whatever button you bind into it, um, it should turn red and that means you're recording. So after you get done with your recordings, head over to your YouTube folder and they should all be there. I've got all my Half-Life 1 or Half-Life 2 videos here. But what you're seeing right there, the AVI, is what I'm recording right now, so don't mess with that until you're done recording. Um, you don't have to edit these. If you edit it, it usually will screw up your whole video in general. Um, you just post them on YouTube as is, so all I can say is try not to screw up doing your videos. Um, what is it? For low-end computers, what I would do is for your format change it to JPEG normal and if you want to which I forgot I did uh, you can check and uncheck hide mouse my mouse should be back up here um, you enable the hotkey just in case um, you can turn these down but I'd suggest you go to the website and get more help with that because I'm on a high-end computer I don't know how to set it up for low-end um, if you're wanting to do that, you should go to About, click on the home page, should open up, and go to support. That's the GTA Freak with how to set up Bandicam. See you later.